Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's Blue Gambit. That played that song for us. And thank you for being here today. The reason we're here today, folks, is um, we have a harmonized sales tax being legislated in the uh, if we're going to put um, our sales tax in the same basket as the, the government stealing tax of Ottawa. And uh, we're going to see even more tax dollars in this province, and we're going to be begging for the results to come back. Today we have uh, some speakers who want to speak to this. Um, the people that are sponsoring this today are the Newfet Party of British Columbia, and uh, we're here as being part of the body that's in the Fight HST uh, organization that is uh, working for Mr. Gramersham and other organizations. And we just want uh, people to know that uh, we've got to do something with Providence and Caucus that's, that's going to happen in, in July. It's supposedly going to happen in July. This morning's paper, The Province, front page news, taxing time. And it, uh, it moves to, uh, well, we as people and citizens of, uh, of provinces and of this country uh, are struggling in this uh, economic downturn are now um, being hit harder and harder by taxation at all levels because of the uh, loss of revenues at all levels. And, uh, but there doesn't seem to be any slowing down of spending, just wrapping up of spending at, at those bodies. Without further ado, I want to know this is speakers. We have this uh, very incredible day today. Yes. And the first person I have to call on today is uh, a fellow by the name of Jordan Bob. Jordan was a candidate in um, Vancouver running against uh, Rich Coleman for a Refed party. And, uh, and he was also uh, represented uh, as deputy leader of Refed uh, at the um, Fight HST on September 19th in uh, on the harbor in Vancouver. Without further ado, I'd like to... Uh, oh, uh, sorry, I got a little ahead of myself. Sorry, Jordan. Yeah, we're, um, we're going to have a little ceremony here. Um, today is Guy Fox Day. Uh, for those who don't know, Guy Fox uh, was a fellow who decided he just really tired of oppressive government back in the 1600s and took matters into his own hands and to a planned act of violence to overthrow the government. Well, we're not here to do that today. We're here to try and inform and educate the population that we can make change and we have mechanisms to make change if we so exercise those mechanisms and make them work. Uh, so uh, without further ado here, we'll have this little ceremony. We have a, have a coffin here with the HST, which is where we'd like to see it put, is in this coffin. And uh, we have our Guy Fox representative here today to, uh, D, who's going to put this um, tax to rest. And what we say is, uh, rest in peace, HST, R.I.P. Streets of the city As I walked out in the city one day I spied all the people all hungry and crying And wishing goodbye to the great old age times So keep the drum slowly Play the fight glory and carry it along and all march away. For he's an old cowboy and he's lying in peace now. Our IP guy and we'll miss you today. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, here we go. First speaker, Mr. Jordan Baum. Thank you very much. So, uh, <clears throat>
just to make clear, anyone who's waiting for Guy Fox to blow up Parliament, we're not actually uh, here to do that today, so uh, sorry, no light show, rained out. We are here uh, to send uh, Parliament a message, however, that we're still outraged about the imminent sale of BC to Ottawa, and we're not going to forget about it between now and July. The people of BC have been duped into sending all of their ta tax dollars to Ottawa, and the Liberal strategy for, ride it, for riding out the storm is to announce it, then sit on their hands until the heat dies down. But with some help from a former Premier, we've been given a chance to fight back, and the flames beneath the Liberals' feet have never been higher. Bill Van Der Zandt's Fight HST group is preparing a citizen's initiative to put the Campbell Mafia in check, and the BC Refederation Party is 100% behind it. This initiative will give Campbell a choice. Either drop the HST and let BC be responsible for BC, or give us a provincial referendum on the issue. A referendum is real democracy in action. A referendum would give British Columbians a real voice on this disgusting tax. Why are the Liberals so worried about real democracy? Because right off the bat they knew 85% of this province would be dead set against it. So why would the government even give it a chance to begin with? Greed. They have driven this province into so many consecutive deficits that they decided to sell us out to Ottawa just to lighten up their track record a little bit. What's the cost to BC's soul? According to Gordon Campbell, $1.6 billion. Here's the folly in that. Ottawa is giving the BC Liberals $1.6 billion. In exchange, BC combines the PST and GST into the HST. And they create a new acronym for it because the more acronyms that are involved, the more complex it sounds, the more cross-eyed the public gets, and the less questions they have to answer. So what Ottawa is doing is giving BC one lump sum, one time only, one time deal, and in return BC sends all of its tax money to Ottawa. That's for the foreseeable future, which could be centuries. Who do you think is getting the short end of the stick? Are we honestly expected to believe that Ottawa is just giving us one and a half billion dollars out of the goodness of their hearts? The truth is that Ottawa is giving BC one and a half million because they know they'll make much more than that back in the long run. 